In today's video I want to show you the Linux app system in the FightTab Duo. Remember that this tablet comes with FedOS, but in this operative system we can enable a Linux subsystem and also another subsystem. Last week I showed you the Android subsystem and this week we are going to take a look to the Linux part. I will show you how to install different stores for the applications and also how to install Docker. So let's start with the video. The first thing is to enable the Linux subsystem. For that we need to go to the settings and look for Linux. Let's select the first option and here we just need to click on turn on. A new window will open and here just click on next and write the username that you prefer. Also we will leave for the moment the recommended size but you can change it if you prefer. So let's click on install and wait until the process finishes. When the process finishes we should see this type of terminal and the first thing to do is update the repositories with the command you see right now. The process will take a moment, but after it finishes, we are going to start by installing the first store. This store is called Pi Apps and is made for a Raspberry Pi, but as we have the same architecture, we can use it. Just follow the steps for installing it. We are going to copy this command and paste in the terminal. Execute the command and wait until the process finishes. After that, we can start the store with the command that you see in the terminal or we can go to the menu. In the menu has appeared this icon, so you just need to click on it and the store will open. Here you can look for any packages in the bottom part or you can click on all applications and look for the one that you prefer. Most of the applications will work fine on the Fight Tab Duo, but some of them might fail. For example, Telegram Desktop in my case doesn't launch. Anyway, I will install VS Codium, the open source version of Visual Studio Code, so we can do some programming in the FightTab Duo. When we install an application in the Linux container, we can see that it appears in a folder called Linux Apps. So you can click on the icon and just launch it. Here you can see that VS Codium works fine and you can do anything you want. You can install Python in the container and program in Python or Node.js or whatever you prefer. Also, another application I recommend you is WebCore. This is just like a client for Discord because I found that the Discord client that provides the Chrome OS store doesn't work properly, at least for me. So this one solved the issue. And now to finish, I will show you that, for example, WPS doesn't work. You can try to install it, but you will have this error message. So instead of this, I will show you now how to install Flatpak, another store, and we are going to install LibreOffice. To install Flatpak, we are going to follow the official steps. So you just need to go to this page and follow the instructions. We are going to copy the first command and paste it into the terminal. With this new store, Flatpak, we will be able to install the last packages available for several applications. So after the first command, we need to copy the second one to add the FlatHub repository. So just paste in the terminal and wait until it finishes. Now you can see that in this link, we can go to the web store in this case, it's not an application, it's a web page, but you can find all the applications here. You can see that you have different categories, trending, popular, new, updated, and you can look for all the applications that you want. Take into account that most of the application will work, but there are some that might not work. For example, in this case, Telegram Desktop doesn't work, like in the other store that we have seen before. And I will install GIMP to show you how to install an application. You just need to click on it. Deploy the blue button and copy the command. When you copy the command, you just paste it into the terminal and wait until the process finishes. And like before, when we install an application using Flatpak, we will see that a new icon appears in the Linux application folder. So here you can see that I have the GIMP icon and you can click on it and start the application. You can see that, for example, in this case, GIMP works without any problem. So I recommend you trying all the applications that you want and see if they work or not. To continue with the video, I want to show you how to install LibreOffice, which is an Ofimatic suite that includes programs like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint or Excel, but in an open source version. So when we install this, we can see that a lot of different applications appear in the Linux apps folder, like you're seeing right now and we can use all of them offline. This is what I prefer, installing this type of applications instead of using the Chrome OS version of them. 
you can see that this is the copy of Microsoft Word and this is a text editor and you can do mostly the same as with Microsoft Word. We have also an application like PowerPoint where you can create some presentations like in PowerPoint. Here you have some templates and you can edit them. You can also add some animations and modify everything you need. And to finish with LibreOffice, let's take a look to the Excel clone. This is a program to modify some spreadsheet, so you can do here almost the same like in Excel. And now I will show you how you can have multiple containers of the same distribution in FidoS. For that, we need to go to the browser to this URL, Chrome Flags. And here we are going to look for multiple. If you check, we see the first option, allow multiple cross tiny containers and we need to enable it. When you change this option, you need to restart the tablet. After you restart the tablet, now you can go to the settings and we are going to navigate until we see the Linux section. Here we will see that there is a new option that it wasn't there before called manage extra containers. But also I recommend you changing the size because all the containers share this size. So I will put like 30 gigabytes or so. And now we can go to the new entry to manage extra containers. Here you can see that we have the default one, which is called Penguin. And you can stop the container or do a backup for the future. And here we are going to create a new one. You can name it as you prefer. In this case, I will call it Docker because I'm going to show you how to install Docker in the Fight Tab Duo. So as always, the first thing to do in a new distro is update the repositories. So let's write the command so the apt update and upgrade and wait until the process finishes. After that, we are going to look for the official Docker page in the browser and we are going to move down the page until we see the Linux option. Let's click on Docker Desktop for Linux, although we are not going to install Docker Desktop, but we are going to follow the instructions. So here we need to select our distro, in this case it is Debian, so let's click on it and let's install the prerequisites. I'm not sure if we need this or not, but it doesn't hurt, so we are going to install the genome terminal, copy the command and paste it into the terminal. After this, let's move down until we see how to set up Dockers with apt repository and let's open the link. We are going to follow the instructions here to install Docker. So the first thing is copying this command and paste in the terminal. This command is huge, but it doesn't take that long to execute. So after it finishes, we are going to continue with the instructions from the page. Let's move down a little bit the page and we will see the command to install all the tools from Docker. So we can run all the Docker containers after we install these tools. Let's paste it in the terminal and now let's copy the command to run the hello world. This is just a container for testing, so let's copy the command and paste it in the terminal. When the command finishes, we will see the output saying that everything looks fine. So now I will show you how to install Portainer, which basically is a Docker image that allows us to manage all our Docker installations. We are going to use Portainer instead of Docker Desktop because Docker Desktop is not available for ARM devices. So we are going to copy this command and paste in the terminal. This will download the image for Portainer. After the image is downloaded, now we need to run it. So let's go to the second command, copy it and paste in the terminal. Now we will have Portainer running on our container. If you check the running docker with the command sudo docker ps, you can check that everything is running fine. Now we need to go to localhost and port 9000 and create a new admin user. When we create the new user, we will see the administration panel from Portainer. Here you can just start playing with all the images and all the containers, or even you can add some servers, but we're going to use the local installation. Here you can see that here we find the images that we have downloaded into our system, and we can check also the containers. These are the running containers or the one that we have stopped. We have the hello world one and the portainer, which is this one that we are using right now. You can start a image, you can stop it or doing whatever you want. In this case, we can delete the hello world because we are not going to use it. So this is basically everything I wanted to show you. 
I think this is one of the best parts of the Fight Tab Duo, the Linux subsystem, because we can do a lot of things and you can install a lot of programs that add a lot of functionality and not just using Android applications, which the performance is not the best, and the Chrome OS, which is always online. So this way we can install some good offline applications. And to finish the video, I want to show you how to stop a Linux container in Fight OS. So if we go to the settings, we can go to the Linux section again and we will see that we can stop, backup or restore a container. So let's go to manage extra containers and let's stop the Linux container that has portainer. So we created the container called Docker. So if we stop the container, we can see that if we try to go to the browser and reload the page, now it doesn't load. So this way you can stop everything from the background and don't consume any resources. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And if you want me to test anything in the Fight Tab Duo, just write it in the comments. Thank you.